what it is is that it um so so the the mention is, is it's a movie that's real that was really good to you okay that you really liked but you only watched it one time and and like for sure only one time yeah like and that's it yeah and, and like won't go back to it yeah like that's it you won't go back to okay, it for some so reason we really liked uh, and you don't want it. Like, yeah, you movie, won't go movie back you, to it right, for some reason. you enjoyed and you've seen once. But you're you, like, that's you, it. Yeah, you won't go back to it. Like, you're like, I don't care to watch that again or I don't want to go back I got, to it. I got one for sure. Like, once I, I think, uh, oh, I think I brought this up. I'm pretty sure yeah. I've only seen this movie once because I don't even remember. All right, let's see. Once twice? It? Oh, you want me to say it? Well, is it, is, is it something that you really like, though? You'll know it. Oh, okay. Go, go ahead. Okay. So, my movie is called uh, October Sky. Oh, yeah. we yeah, <laughs> And I definitely have, I'm pretty sure I've only seen that once. Yeah. Is that with Jake Gyllenhaal? Is that his name? Yeah, he's in it. Okay. The, Ro- the Rocket movie? Yeah. yeah. He's in that. that. Yeah. So I saw that movie, man, I think I was mm-hmm. a teenager at the time. But, yeah, I saw that movie. It might have been in th- – no. I might have saw it on DVD somewhere. Anyways, I saw the movie, and it just – it resonated with me a lot. Uh, the way the kid had a relationship with his dad mm-hmm. and, like, just being different, I related to that kid with, with him having a passion of, like, uh, science and rocket ships and stuff in space um, was kind of like the passion I had in technology and like gaming and stuff. And my dad just never saw that. And he, he my dad was a blue collar worker where uh, he worked at GTE, mm-hmm. cable splicing turned into Verizon. Um, so he was very much a, like a hard labor type of guy growing up. And that's how the dad was in October sky. He worked in the mines. And like, that was like what you're supposed to do when you live in that town is like, if you're a male, you go to the mines unless you become a professional football player. Like mm-hmm. that, that was only two alternatives pretty much. And so for like this kid to do what he loved and follow his passion, like I thought that was really cool. And just like always believing in his dreams versus like trying to let his dad influence him, mm-hmm. you know, and, uh, and all the different stuff he had to go through uh, in that movie. I won't spoil it for people who haven't seen it, but there's like a lot of family struggle, um, just personal struggle he goes through. Exactly. And uh, it just – it shows you, like, life can be shitty sometimes. But, man, if you just keep pushing for what you believe in, like, you can you can have great results. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's what I love about that movie is that that kid's perseverance. But all, not only that, it's, like, his friends, too. His friends were a big part of, like, him, him believing in his own dreams because he had that support. So it's, like, even when your family can't even support you – like, to have friends like that that would support you in your dreams, like, <clears throat> dude, it's it's big. So, yeah, I love that movie. It's crazy. What, October what, Sky is great. Why didn't you watch it again? Just curious. I think it was just such a good movie that I was like, I'm good. Like, it wasn't like a Rush Hour movie where I'm like, dude, that was so good. It was funny. Like, I could watch that shit over and over again. Mm-hmm. October Sky was, like, one of those movies. It's like, it's, it's so good that I just, like, I was so satisfied that I was like, I, I don't have to watch it again. Like it, it's just it interesting. Just hit me in all like the emotional, emotional spots. Hmm. It's interesting because like, because like like uh, like have you ever seen Gladiator, uh, Patriot? Oh yeah, or, I watched that over and over. Yeah, see, like Gladiator is like one of those movies where it's really heavy to watch, and a lot of true. Yeah, it's I've like seen yeah. it at least twice though. But that that's what I'm, that's like one of those movies too where, um, it's just but even then you'll see it again. So to like something that much, but then to like not like you're like I'm good. It's yeah. just a rare thing. You're, you you find it so emotional, but you don't want to revisit that. I think it's just because like it just resonated with me, and I was yeah. just like, "That's one movie that's good for me," but I just don't have to go back to it because like yeah. I never bought it. It's not something that came up on TV, mm-hmm. you know? Because like I feel like like the Gladiator, the Patriots, like I've always seen it on like TNT or whatever. I'm like, mm-hmm. well, I like this movie anyways. I'm gonna keep watching it. Saving Private Ryan, like I don't even know how many times I can count how many times I watch that. Mm-hmm. But I think October Sky was just like such a different type of vibe movie that. It just, like, the message was so, um, it just hit so close to home for me. I was, like, I was satisfied, you mm-hmm. know, after I saw it. It was, honestly, it, like, I can remember a lot of parts of that movie where it's just, like, it had really key moments of, like, like just fulfillment in life. Mm-hmm. And that's how I felt throughout the movie. It was really cool. And this teacher was really cool, too. I love that. So, yeah, good movie, October Sky. So I'll pass it back to Coach.